It was a year ago I put up a bird feeder in the backyard and many species stopped by to feed. It was a great opportunity to get some photos of birds in Berkeley. But recently, surely the neighborhood squirrel decided it was actually her feeder and not the birds. This displaced the birds, reduced their visits, and rapidly drained the bird seed. As the coronavirus put California in lockdown and supplies became scarce, it was time to stop this plundering squirrel. For a retired cyclotron physicist, it would be an easy test to modify the feeder to block Shirley, or so I thought. Shirley had easily defeated the early design of a rotatable squirrel shield made from a sheet of fiberboard. So I built an extension using some slotted steel channel which moved the feeder away from the hedge and raised its height. The shield and the wooden bearing were too floppy and she used it like a ramp. So a stiffening bar was added to the back side of the shield and the bearing was improved. Well, she didn't jump over the shield, she just jumped around it. A light coating of Pam cooking spray made the steel channel and the bird feeder a little slippery though. After some negotiations with the wife, I acquired a plastic cutting sheet from the kitchen to block Shirley's path from the hedge to the extension bar. This was a new test for Shirley, and as she surveyed the new system, you could see that little squirrel brain working through the problem like it was a three-dimensional chess game. Checkmate. Game over, man. But, as I was learning, Shirley wasn't just clever, she was persistent and a true experimentalist. On her fourth try, she took a more direct route to the top, and there went the bird seed again. So this contest was getting personal, and Shirley had a message for that retired cyclotron physicist. A few days later, a second squirrel showed up. Red was a big male fox squirrel and wanted a piece of the action. This was his first look at the contraption and for once, it acted as a squirrel deterrent.
But my victory was short-lived, as he came up with a unique approach that required hanging by one foot and getting his front paws around to the back side of the shield. With two squirrels now able to crack my bird feeder defenses, it was time to go back to the drawing board and make some improvements. My shop facility certainly didn't compare with those at the cyclotron where I had worked. It also lacked a skilled machinist, but then that just made it more of a challenge. With the addition of the red plastic cutting board to complement the existing blue one, this growing monstrosity was starting to look like an American flag. Shirley looked a little irritated by the new design and seemed to give it a thumbs down review. But soon enough she was probing the new design for weak points. Sometimes it looks like she is thinking with her tail as she comes up with a new approach. With the feeder on the empty side, it wasn't the big score she was hoping for, since most of the seeds were lying on the downside of the tube. The next morning, the feeder was full again, and a small container of pebbles had been added to change the balance point of the shield. Now this move was one of her best, as the shield makes a 270 degree rotation before she steps onto the support bar. About a week went by and then Red returned to the action. He could no longer use his trick of reaching around 
the short side of the shield. But the lesson is to never underestimate a squirrel's athletic ability. Now that was an impressive jump, both in length and altitude gain. When all else fails, and it has, there are only a couple options left. I could spend my days chasing Shirley away, or I could rename this contraption a squirrel feeder. <laughs>